be sure to follow me on all of my social media accounts. The links will be down in the description below. Hey, what's going on, guys? Your favorite YouTuber here, Sincere, aka Missouri Scantanella, aka Sebastian. Now, I've got a few things that's concerning me coming from NBA Live 18 going into NBA Live 19. Hopefully, these small things will be addressed and we can get straight into them. But make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and come back here for some more NBA Live 19 news. Now, the first thing is this animation right here. You see how I got stuck on my defender as I was running? It was a canned animation, but I got stuck right there. But I believe with the real player motion that this is actually going to be something that's addressed where body weight is actually respected in NBA Live 19. Now here, this is a small detail, but let's say that you're wide open on a three point and you take the three point shot and you shoot the shot and everything looks good because your player celebrates. Why do we celebrate if we're going to miss? Nope. You see that? I did a whole backflip, but I missed the shot. Why am I celebrating if I'm going to miss? That backflip right there can cause me to stop a play and not be able to go get the rebound or recover from anything just because I did a whole animation that I wasn't controlling. Now, this last thing that I want to see, I want to address, this is, a, this is one of the biggest things on uh, NBA Live 18 that has gone like under the radar. Now, anytime that you pass the out of bounds line, it doesn't matter if you're still in the air or whatnot, the ball is still out of bounds. Did you see that? Now look at it, look at his feet. My man, he went up for the dunk, but I changed it up and did a uh, reverse, and I didn't even go out of bounds. Just the ball went past the line in NBA Live. Anytime the ball go past the line, you are out of bounds automatically on NBA Live 18. And that's a small issue that should be addressed and needs to be addressed. In closing, uh, my final thing is shout out to Rebecca Brunson for passing up Lisa Leslie with the all-time rebounds for the WNBA.